Welcome back. So we're still talking jewelry. <laughs> Janet, you asked yes. the question. I was question. asking, you know, some men will tell you, I've never taken off my ring ever. Some will tell you, you know what, my finger has got so fat, so um, instead of getting another one, they'll just rather do without. But, you know, I don't know. What do you say? Okay, so to answer the question, uh, the <coughs> <laughs> thing is this. Some men react to metal. Okay. Skin type. Others have this thing about after a certain time they take off. Okay, I'll give you this. I used to not be on, not be able to take off my wrist. I, I'll sleep with my wristwatch. Okay. No matter what happens. Right. But at a certain time, I, like, if I sleep with the wristwatch, I'm uncomfortable. Right. So I take it off. Right. So I've, I've seen some people who, when they got married, they were using their rings. And then after a while, they were uncomfortable. They just... Each time they come back, they'll take it off. Then mm -hmm. after a while, they just forget and stop wearing it. And if the wife then takes, some other, takes it off. Yes. Mm -hmm. then, someone, <laughs> then some others, for one reason or the other, they lose the ring. And right. then they, have right. to explain, thought, yes. they have to explain that to yes. their wife. So yes. Yes. I know some who have not... I haven't taken this off except three times. No, twice. When mm -hmm. I needed to change it. Right. Twice. Hmm. Anyway... <laughs> Food for thought there. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with men wearing jewelry, actually. I and mean, yeah. some men will have their statement rings. Actually, some have some nice designer rings. Some like to wear the traditional beads, depending on the occasion. But yes, it does, does, does depend on the occasion. I like to wear my if bracelet formal, occasionally. Y yes, I, I've seen people, you know, formal people, formal executives wear the bracelet and all of that. I really think if you're going formal, stay formal. Right? So if you're wearing your tie, you don't, we don't need to see your chain underneath <laughs> your, your, your mm -hmm. shirt. We don't. It does, it, it, it's out of place. <laughs> it's really out of place. And even when you're going, for, we don't need to see that bracelet. I think you should keep it for social occasions. Okay? Mm. And so when you're wearing your traditional outfit or you're wearing your smart casual or whatever, you know, you, you may decide to pop on something. But sometimes be mindful of how bold it is. So some men wear very bold, thick mm -hmm. gold. You have to be very and careful. Very long. And very long as well. So you have to be mindful of when where and where you're, you're wearing that item too. And, and the bracelets as well. Yes, and then with rings, like men <laughs> like to wear rings, but ladies like to love to wear rings. But mm. this is a no no. <laughs> oh my, oh, my fingers I mean, every ring ought are to covered have. with rings. <laughs> and this, I think, this is too much. This is excess. All right. I probably am wearing 10 rings here, including my wedding rings. So this is just too much. I think this is. This statement is a little too loud, okay. all right? Because you have to be mindful. Where am I wearing the rings to? Am I going to work? Am I going for a social function? Am I going for a VIP I mean, function? You just want people to know that you have all the rings. The rings. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think less is indeed more. Mm. There's no need for eight, ten rings on your finger. You know, you can put one or two just to glamour up. You know, maybe some come, some rings come with a set, so you want to wear it just because you are, you're trying to wear the complete set. Nothing wrong with that. But when it gets to all the fingers, I think that is overdoing it. So for ladies, what to wear? Mm. Ladies, we love our diamonds. So starting from precious stones, diamonds. Diamonds, they say, are a girl's best friend. Mm -hmm. All right? So there are diamonds, there are emeralds, and there are sapphires, there are rubies. Then we come down to gold, all right? We have red gold, white gold, rose gold. Mm -hmm yellow gold yes we even have some here so this is not silver this is indeed white gold all right and of course we have the normal gold okay now um, i brought this up because if you want to go very simple and casual you can see how thin this chain is all you need to do is put a pendant on it and you you can go with that very simply all right um this is a little thicker okay to give it steadiness and this is also slightly these are the ones you can actually wear on a casual day even to work it's not too bold, it's not too loud, it's not too lousy, mm -hmm. all right? You have to be mindful of how much noise you're making with your jewelry without making the noise, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. all right? But you see, when it comes to jewelry as well, pearls, I think today, pearls can go for anything. In the, back in the days, pearls were um, really expensive items and you only wear them for special occasions. But today, They're pearls... They're expensive, it's just that you have But you see, you, you can do real pearl and you can do fox bar pearl. Mm -hmm. It's still okay. There's nothing wrong with going to break the bank just because you want to wear jewelry, all right? Gone are the days where you spend so much money. Today, you can wear cosmetic jewelry and still stand out nicely. Buy what your pocket can afford. That's what I think, say, with jewelry. And pearls can go with anything. So we have a whole stand there of pearls alone. And pearls can be black pearls, silver pearls, all types of pearls. But with pearls, I think pearls make a woman look very elegant. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're wearing, long, short, it makes a woman look very, very elegant. And different size pearls as well. Okay? But then this is it. Today you can mix and match. You can wear the real thing and add the cosmetic as well. 
it doesn't really matter so long as you feel comfortable actually in what you're wearing but when do you wear jewelry really everyday jewelry I, I would say there's some people that like to wear the big bogus ring jewelry sometimes depending on what you're doing it may be dangerous even when you, you know you've just had a uh, you have small children or you have a newborn you don't really want to wear big bold earrings where your child can pull at hmm. many mothers have had that where mm -hmm. the child has pulled at the earring because the earring is dangling too long or the loop earrings are such an attraction to a child all they want to do is put their finger in and pull it and we've seen so many cases where it really is dangerous so everyday earrings studs or simple earrings are good um, I would say drop down earrings are good for social occasions not necessarily for the office if they're really bogus so we have some earrings where honestly speaking they're nice but they're too big they're too bogus they're too dangling all right so sometimes when you're wearing earrings that are too dangling it speaks too loud for the work work environment